How to lose chest fat. As we increase in weight, our body naturally deposits fat in site-specific areas across the board. For example, in men, that includes the lower back, in the abdominals, and finally in the chest to name a few. Although I've covered the topics of abdominal fat in depth, and to see those videos I've linked them below, the next most common question I've received is Dr. Mike, how to target chest fat? There's no site-specific diet or workout that will burn fat in the chest. That being said, hope is not lost. I've made this video to help those searching for this information. I'll give you three simple science back steps to help you. But before we dive in, for the YouTube algorithm, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Promise it's free. And hit the like button to get a notification when I upload. What causes chest fat in males? also known as man boobs. Excess fat deposits on your chest can be caused by simple genetics. Everyone's body is shaped differently and we carry fat in different parts of our body. A term commonly used to describe male chest fat that appears in large, fatty or woman-like is usually called gynecomastia. And this is caused by a low testosterone level and increase in estrogen. However, not all men with feminine-like breasts have true gynecomastia. Some actually have a condition called pseudogynecomastia, which may look similar, but it has a unique underlying cause. Pseudogynecomastia is a condition that occurs in obese men. There's only fat deposition found in the subareolar area. This is not pathologic or physiologic. Patients with pseudogynecomastia typically have bilateral deposition of fat, and over time, these deposits do not change in shape or size unless a significant increase in aromatization occurs in fatty tissue, leading to true gynecomastia. Now that we've set the foundation for this problem, there are three signs back steps. Step one. One, guys, the support has been amazing. We're so close to 400,000 subscribers. I will be doing a giveaway in this video and every video leading up to finishing this entire pile worth of clothes. All you need to do is hit the video with a thumbs up, comment in the comment section down below, and be subscribed. I'll announce the winners in each and every single video in the future or on my Instagram, and that's at MikeDiamonds23. So you have a good chance of winning any of these. This is just my way to say thank you for all the consistent support. I put my heart and soul into the videos and you guys reciprocate it back with all the energy that you guys give me. And so comment, like, subscribe. That's all you have to do to enter. Let's get back to the video and I'll announce the winner of VHP Labs at the end of the video. To get rid of chest fat. It's the same as getting rid of fat overall. It's governed by the same law. Nothing changes, a negative energy balance. But what happens in the body? Depending on the energy supply and demand, adipocytes, also known as fat cells, can take up and store fat from the body or release fat back into the blood. After eating, when your energy supply is high, the hormone insulin keeps the fatty acids inside the adipocytes. Conversely, in a negative energy balance, your body releases a group of different hormones, including epinephrine and hormone-sensitive lipase, and releases fat into the bloodstream to be utilized as energy. Over time, consistently being in a negative energy balance, your adipocytes empty of fatty acids and you're then able to reveal the muscle that has been underlying that fat. If you guys would like a more detailed physiology of fat loss, let me know in the comments below. A caloric deficit was going to be able to enable you to burn fat in the first place. Step 2. Building the chest. As previously mentioned, Adhering to step 1 is crucial and as important as step 2, progressively overloading the chest muscle, the pectoralis, performing the best chest exercises over time. Here are some examples of some of the most popular athletes who still retain good definition of their chest even at a higher body fat percentage. With a good chest development, chest fat can be a problem of the past. Here are the best science-based exercises to develop a full chest. Exercise 1. A total of 8 studies were utilized for referencing this video, and one consistency was that the barbell bench press is by far the best exercise for chest development, and therefore it deserves to be the first exercise in any training program targeting the chest.
Akagi and colleagues found that there was a direct correlation with pectoral size and bench press performance. The EMG data from Boeck, Burns and Busky showed that the barbell bench press being the most superior chest exercise. How to perform this exercise? Place your ring finger on the knurling and retract your scapula and firmly place them onto the bench. Allow a slight arc in your back but firmly placed onto the bench and feet dug firmly into the ground. Close grip the barbell and a good mental cue is to try and bend the bar. Tuck your elbows below 90 degrees and allow the barbell to touch your sternum and push to complete one repetition. Exercise 2. Incline press, targeting the upper chest, pars clavicularis. Trebs and colleagues found that a bench angle of 44 degrees and 56 degrees resulted in a greater activation of the opto pectoralis compared to a horizontal bench. The MG data from Boak, Burns and Busky show that the incline bench press with an angle of plus 45 degrees provides a 69% more intense stimulation to the upper chest. In other words, descending fibers of the pars clavicularis are optimally stimulated, will thus, as bro science tells you, bring up your pecs. Why I've picked the incline dumbbell bench over the barbell is one to provide a greater range of motion at the bottom and at the top of the movement, providing more bang for your buck in this exercise. And how to perform this exercise? Again, to preserve your shoulder and avoid injury, have your elbows slightly tucked. Make sure that at the peak of this press, the dumbbell is over your chest and not over your face. Exercise 3. Cable crossovers or a pec deck. A study from the American Council of Exercise analyzing the top three most effective chest exercises, utilizing the average EMG and data from an RPE, the Rated Perceived Exertion, which is a scale used to measure the intensity of your exercise between 0 and 10, from 0 being nothing at all, 4 being somewhat heavy, 7 very heavy, and 10 being very, very heavy. Both the peg deck at 98% of the muscle activation compared to the ball bear bench press and the bent forward cable crossover at 93% of muscle activation elicited nearly equivalent muscle activation as the barbell bench press. Likewise, ratings of the perceived exertion for each of the exercises, the three exercises were compared as well. The EMG data from Boak, Burns and Buskies also goes to show that the cable crossover being the second most effective exercise, further supporting its claim for the third most important exercise in your chest arsenal. Size 4 is dips or a cable chest raise. Why dips would be a great finisher is due to its ability to properly stimulate the lower pecs, pars abdominalis and their ascending fibers. I would also try this variation of cable raises, one of my favorite chest finishers. Step 3. Speeding up the process. I've spoken in detail about the two popular forms of cardio that will help you with fat loss. That will speed up the process in general. I highly advise implementing either low intensity steady state cardio or high intensity interval training. That being said, step 3 is neglected. Performing step 1 and 2 consistently is the biggest problem. Too many people give up when they don't see results fast enough. Being able to transform any body part takes time. Another tip is performing the aforementioned exercises with good form. This goes a long way in implementing the correct mechanics for chest development, which is ultimately the foundation of a well-developed chest. If you follow steps 1 and 2 for a year, for example, you will have 1. Maximize your chest gains and 2. Maintain the lower body fat. So that is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it, but now for the EHP Labs $150 giveaway. So the way I'm going to do it, cardio versus weights, which was the video that I announced it on, I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to put it in the YouTube comment giveaway winner. I'm going to paste it there. Get YouTube comments, 1, 200, 300, 400, 440 comments. Start raffle to pick a random winner. So this is completely random. Start. So the winner of the $150 giveaway, DM me on Instagram. You have 48 hours. It's Quincy Bening say. I tore my meniscus and have been out for the gym fire. I used to do the elliptical 10 minutes before I worked out. I need to get back to the gym. Bro, I hope you have a speedy recovery. I hope you're seeing who you have to, to get that, but you are the winner. DM me on Instagram, Mike Diamonds33. And since you guys have st stayed this far, the first three people to drop a comment in the next video are gonna be the winners for parcels. And I also wanted to announce that, look, even if you didn't win, EHP Labs is having 60% off for Valentine's Day. So it's cheap, cheap. It doesn't get cheaper than this. And you can use the discount code DIAMONDS10. I've left a link in the description to purchase the Oxy Shred or the Isopep, which are my two favorite products. 
So you can take advantage of the sale, Diamonds 10. But I'll leave the video here. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. And congratulations, Quincy, and get better.